Adrienne Marie Brown says that she writes science fiction to keep pushing the boundaries of what people can imagine is possible. Now is the time for imagination and magic that can move us beyond what we think is politically possible now, she says. This is how we build beloved community. We cultivate the world we dream about, but in order to do so, we must in fact dream it. We must take the time to imagine what the world can be in order to work towards making it that world. So beloved, what is the world that you want to leave for those who follow? I invite you to take a moment to rest your body, let it settle, release your shoulders, take a breath to sustain you, and imagine the world you hope exists in 50 years or 500, or maybe even in five or one. What is the world like? The world you hope can exist. What does it look like? What does it sound like and smell like? What does it feel like? Who is there? What is different from the world that we live in right now? And what is the same as this world? We can imagine so much. We can only imagine so much. These words from Adrienne Reed Brown are so powerful. They run through my head ever since I first, first heard them. These words remind us that our imaginations can carry us so, so, so far beyond anything we've ever experienced, but that our imaginations also create the boundaries that we bump up against. Even our wildest dreams and imaginations are limited by what we believe might be possible. And even if we try our hardest to dream big, to dream beyond, to break out beyond those barriers. Something inside us is holding those boundaries. Something we may not know is there. It may be subconscious, but we can only imagine so much. So how do we break out of this? How do we grow our dreams beyond that edge, which Adrienne Marie Brown calls the only known edge of existence. One way that I have found that allows my imagination to stretch and grow is to allow it to intertwine with the imaginations of others. The edges of my imaginations, the boundaries I don't even know I am imagining, may not be the same as the edges of yours. And so allowing them to interact, allowing our imaginations to build and build and build upon each other. Sometimes we can manage to reach just that little bit farther, stretch just a little bit more, just take ourselves one step beyond that boundary, a boundary we didn't even know was holding in our imagination. Reverend Jackie Lewis, who is the senior minister of Middle Collegiate Church in New York City, says, imagination is our most potent political resource. Our ability to envision a future guided by revolutionary love is what will take us there. Our ability to envision, to imagine, to dream beyond what it is that we know now that is what makes it possible for us to get there, 
we cannot build the world we dream about if we do not first dream about that world. And so to do that, we have to practice. We have to take the time to actively imagine the world that we want. We have to explore and feel out and bump up against those boundaries that we find so that we can learn how to grow our dreams beyond them.